hello, it's a bright sunny day here in South Wales and uh, I'm about halfway between Pontypool and Crumlin and you can hear in the background there's the main road, I'm on the side road uh, which uh, this main road kind of took over and if you've ever driven down here you might notice something it's a big concrete structure, it's standing in the middle of the field and the question is, what is it? So what is it and what was it for? Well to answer that question you have to ask, the, ask, ask a further question that is what was around here? Well it may not surprise you that this is a place where they dug coal and this is Havadronis. There was a pit opened here in oh it was the 1870s and they went down and dug a shaft and they did a new shaft in 1914. But after the war, they decided that they were going to take a different angle with this particular colliery. And they went in over there. They created a drift mine into the side of that mountain over, over behind me, over to the side of me. And they used it to link up a number of different other mines and bring all the coal out here. Now, this was no small redevelopment. It cost five and a half million pounds, which in 1954 was a lot of money. The buildings were designed for maximum efficiency. Uh, they were modern, they were influenced by the designs of the time. Uh, in those days, it was all about brutalism. And if you look at the South Bank, the Festival Hall, other places that were built post-war, it's all very square and concrete. But the architect here said, no, we're gonna look at the German mines that were made pre-war uh, with waveforms and all this sort of thing, glass panels and everything, and we're going to build like that. Now, one of the processes they introduced after the war was to wash the coal and this is, was the coal washery of Havadronis Colliery. The idea was that they would literally wash the coal, get the coal dust off, take the slurry and this was a settling tank where they would settle the coal dust down the bottom, dry it and that way it was a lot easier to dump. Behind me, all up on the hills there, you may think oh that's lovely, that is coal tips. And now and again they do slip, but not badly. Um, but that's where they used to dump all the compacted dried slurry. The washery, when it was built, was made obviously with reinforced concrete. And the gaps you see in it were actually for curved glass panels. Believe it or not, this was an architectural work of art for its time. Having spent all this money in the 1954, it may surprise you to know that stocks ran out in 1966. The other pits also were running short and the one that was left, they decided they'd lift it out using a shaft at Abitaleri in the colliery there. And so Havadronis Colliery closed in 1966. Remember it was developed in 54, that is literally only, what, 12 years? Not a lot. Over the years, it basically it was dismantled, stuff was taken away, stocks were removed and I remember driving down this road in the 1970s when it was the main road from Pontypool and the road behind us that you can hear uh, was the railway and they cleared it all and it reverted back to its original owner who was Sir Richard Hanbury Tennyson, Pontypool Park Estates. Now he made a very unusual request and that was he wanted this kept. He was going to turn it into a restaurant and as you can see the only things uh, eating there right now are horses. It didn't happen and there's been many suggestions over the years as to what you can do with it. I mean what do you do with a grade 2 listed solid concrete rotunda in the middle of nowhere? Hotel? I'd love to see a museum of drift mining made but in the meantime it's here and uh, it doesn't look as though it's going anywhere anytime soon. And so from me and the horses, uh, from Havadronis Washery, sitting in the middle of the countryside, that's the short. And uh, I'll see you next time.